three obvious targets, Hollis, Captains Evans and Maguire. There's a free header here and it's a free kick. It's gone in. It was Carline who stooped in. I mean, the Daggers players seemed to stop before the whistle had gone for me, Mick, and I have to say I didn't see if it was a foul or not. Well, I've got it. The goalkeeper was able to clear. It was a difficult bit of a bouncing ball there as well. So he did well, the goalkeeper. And then a high boot there. Quite a lot of motion from the players. I think it'll be a yellow. It's a oh, red. It's I don't off. believe it. Wow, I'm, wow. I have to say I'm surprised, but the fact is referee Tom Reeves, with only 10 minutes on the clock, has shown a straight red card to Tom Whelan. In the mix now, the three centre-backs. Chesterfield still sending them forward. The ball drops to one of them. It drops to Evans, who fires it. Evans again, and he's put it in the back of the net. The 10 men of Chesterfield with a long throw. They didn't deal with it the first time. Evans smashes it into the bottom left-hand corner of Elliot Justin's goal. We've played 17 minutes. It's the captain who scores for Chesterfield. Lance, though, takes it on his chest, and in the end, just a last gasp. Toe poke, I think it was, from Gunning. Prevented McCullum from pulling the trigger. It could be a mix-up here, and Dagenham could be in tr trouble. Justin goes down. It's not going to be a free kick. He's got plenty of bodies in front of him, and he tries to bend it in the top corner. Reynolds gets his head in the way, and what looked like a routine defensive situation nearly became a nightmare. Well, it was a nightmare. You know, don't say it, it was a nightmare. That's got to be taken by Elliot Justin. He's got to take charge of that. And uh, as I said, it's... Uh, it's untidy, you know, it's, it's really untidy. They're better than that. They've got to make sure they make these better decisions. McCullum looks to link the play and does so. Eleutherio coming forward. This is better from Dagenham. McCullum back to Eleutherio. Three in the box. McCullum, Wilson, what a wonderful goal. Scott Wilson on his return to the side makes it 1-1. And that is the kind of football you all love to see. Well, listen. That is exactly that. What a top goal that is. It was quick, it was decisive, it was sharp, and what a finish as well. Good. As I said, it's, uh, yeah, I think since the goal, James, as I said, I, I actually thought the Daggers were going to go on and, you know, really sort of, uh, if you like, turn a screw for a better word. And uh, you've got to say, it, it sort of comes slightly off the pace for me. Well, long throw here. Been on the game so far, and his, uh, his throws have been better than the free kicks that uh, Gunning's been whipping in, and this is where the goal came from. It's a difficult with the weather as it is. Hollis wins the first header. That's brilliant. Hollis inside the area, drives it towards goal. Good yeah. save, Asante. But you've got to give credit to Hollis. The 10 men lead for the second time. 40 minutes gone, it's the top scorer, Akwasi Asante, seventh goal of the season, his third in three games. And that is not the script we had written when it went to 1-1. One -one. Well, Gordon does well to find Deering. A couple of bodies joined by Deering. Does have that pop shot and hits the post. Mick Payne requests shots. He gets one and Dagenham almost find the back of the net with it. It's given away by Reynolds. Wilson and Anathery had both made runs. You, know, and you, you said that a couple of times already. And that's exactly it. Given away. Don't give it away. You know, unforced errors are going to... It's going to cost you. These little moments in games are going to cost you. You've got to be assured of everything you do. Wilson, back to goal. They will believe it, James. They get one back here, the Daggers. They believe it going. Deering's going to shoot again. This one's for brilliant. Oh. oh, my word, Sam Deering. 25 yards. That is in the top corner. And you'll go a long time before you see a better goal than that. Well, I did say, I did say this is what the boy brings. That's what he brings. He's already had a little sighter before that, and he's pulled that one out of the bag. Rock Carlisle whips this one. It's got a reasonable flight on it. Hollis is again first to it. He can whip the cross in. It's a decent ball, excellent ball. And there is Evans. A move down and forward. Lawrence thinks about a shot, goes up to Brundle. Now they're moving it quicker. They've got three in the box. It's whipped towards the far post. Gordon's there. It hits the post, I think. He did it, the post. McCullum. No, it was, it was McCullum. He's got his head in his hands. The second time Dagenham have hit the post. Dagenham come forward. It's a lovely ball. Scott Wilson's going to race away. The keeper, we've said it twice today, he's had a good starting position. And it's behind. And a little thank chance you to... Chance here, though, Lee. James. There's a chance early here. They've taken it early. Wilson inside the area. Man on the edge of the box is McCullum. It's fired into the area. McCullum's touch is going to be offside. The ball's Goal, gone in. It's gone in. It's in. The linesman hasn't flagged. 
But the referee, I think the referee's right. I think he's overruled it because I don't know why the linesman hasn't given it, but he was clearly offside. And well. as frustrating as it is, every goalkeeper does it for each team when, when you're trying to hold on. But Wilson's in behind. Chance to win the game. Pulls the trigger and pulls it wide. It's a shame, wasn't it? Difficult chance in the end to open your body at that pace. Sitting very deep now, the visitors, as we look across the pitch to see what number the fourth official put up. Three will be the expected number. Yeah, and it's indeed, three. it is three. It's chipped in towards the area. There's Maguire trying to head it clear as far as Crow, who tries to find Gordon, who's not had a lot of the ball since coming on. He had that one good chance to cut it back, which went begging. We're in the final throws. Is there one more big moment? Deering done one moment of quality. Rifles another one. Oh, and he grazes the roof of the net. Wow. <laughs> I expected that to nestle in the top left-hand corner. What a strike from Sam Deering. Brundle wants to do a long throw, but there's no one to give it to. And that's the full-time whistle here in the Chigwell Construction Stadium where it's finished, Dagenham and Redbridge 2, Chesterfield 2.